Hello everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and today I'm going to take a look at Microsoft Security Essentials um, detection and removal abilities. I have a PC here that is pretty typical of what I see every day. Um, it has a lot of pop-ups, maybe not a lot, but maybe from a few applications that are encouraging um, users to buy a particular product that is fake, also known as rogue antivirus. These things um, are pretty good. They look like real applications and they uh, trick a lot of the people that, the new customers that I meet. They'll call me up saying that uh, they're having pop-ups and things like that and they bought um, some antivirus package over the internet and it's still not fixing the problem and that's when I know that they've been taken you know they've given up their identity to uh, these thieves you take a look at this little security tool such an inventive name uh, it looks like kind of like a legitimate antivirus application you know it's designed pretty nice you've got uh, all the things that you're supposedly infected with now I very well could be infected with some things but uh, not all of these I can tell you that. So all of these are fit pretty much fake results. This is not an antivirus package. This basically is a virus, if you want to think about it in that sense. When the client would try to browse to a website, you can usually go to, you know, your first page here, which would be msn.com for us. and I'm not sure what it's doing right now. <laughs> I just did this a few minutes ago, it was working fine. It's loading something here. Oh, more of these pop-ups. So, you can kind of see that this PC is pretty infected. Can't even really get on the internet anymore. So, what I'll we'll do is go ahead and I've downloaded Microsoft Security Essentials. I'm just going to go ahead and run it and install it and then we'll do a full scan with it and see if Microsoft Security Essentials can kind of return our PC to um, you know more of a normal state we want to be able to browse the internet without getting redirected we don't want any of these rogue antivirus applications on here anymore no pop-ups things like that that's what we're looking for Obviously, if you've been infected, you're going to go all out. You're going to install antivirus, and you're going to want a good firewall and all this other stuff. But let's see what um, Security Essentials can do by itself. And while that's installing and updating and such, I'll just go ahead and pause it. Be right back. Okay, the PC, um, Microsoft Security Essentials was updated on the PC and it automatically rebooted after it updated and upon the reboot it actually removed this fake security tool um, that's gone so you can see there are no more pop-ups down here and you cannot see that fake security tool anymore and uh, when I got logged in I see this as well there are two potential threats it's telling me you know what they are and it's telling me I should remove them and I'll go ahead and apply those actions and then it goes through this uh, removal process which can sometimes take sometimes it takes you know a few minutes to to actually remove these things and I haven't even done a scan yet so this is just update reboot and all of this stuff has happened I also got my desktop icons back as well so just with me updating the program and rebooting it's it's gotten rid of probably more than 50 percent of the issues on this computer so what we'll do right now is we'll do a full scan and see if anything else is on here and again what I'm looking for is you know I want the PC to act as normal as possible and I'd also like not to have any pop-ups or website redirections but um, 
you know, that's kind of pushing it. Sometimes you need an extra tool like uh, Super Anti Spyware or Malware Bytes to kind of get rid of some of those website redirections. Um, you may also need to scan with a tool called GMER for any hidden rootkits. And if you find nothing doing that, you got to move on to uh, something a little more serious like Combo Fix. So. Anyway, I'm just going to let this uh, full scan go. It started at 7.53, and, uh, okay, it's actually the next day. I got busy last night and um, had to do some other stuff, but full scan completed, and it scanned 129,000 items. I guess it's scanning archives as well, and found uh, no other threats on the PC. So at this point, um, you know, we pretty much should be in the clear. And we're going to go ahead and test this just by going to a few websites. See if we got our web browser back. It's actually able to load now. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Google and we'll do a search for free antivirus and we'll click uh, the first few links let's see if we get redirected anywhere no redirection there let's try to go to a vast oh, I'm still getting redirected here so got some adware still on this PC and from what I've noticed um, it could be adware, it could be a rootkit for all we know really because rootkits will redirect you like crazy now still lots and lots of redirections so can't really go anywhere there's something still present on this PC